So, my name is Shannon Godley. I did the three-year conservatory program in New York, and um, I grew up partly in New Jersey and partly in Kentucky. I'm Ian McQuillan Grace, and I'm from Shelton, Connecticut, and I did the day conservatory in New York City. Stuff. Um, my name is Taylor Robinson, and I'm from Christiana, Connecticut, and I did the Tish program. My fear was that it would be what New Yorkers stereotypically say about LA. Um, that's basically what I was afraid about, and um, also that I, I really wouldn't like it. And um, but uh, I was sort of in a situation where I was going to choose where I wanted to to be after the program. Um, so it was a fear, but I knew that I could always come back to New York if I wanted to. Hmm. You know, making the wrong impression. Uh, you know, you don't want to. You never know who you're going to meet. It's such a small world. I found that uh, on the East Coast as well. And you know, I I saw some people, you know, take some bad routes and make some bad impressions. And you know, you, you never want to be that guy. So. Uh, all, <laughs> all fears you could possibly have. I was really scared that I'd be, I'd feel very isolated because I was used to a city that was, you know, you were constantly around a bunch of people. But doing AOA was good because I was, like, right away introduced to all of these people, so I didn't feel it. The only things that, um, the only expectations I had were what people had to say about it. Um, and I expected to find a, a studio, a newer studio than New York, um, with a different feel to it. Um, and I expected a totally different way of life, which is what I got. Um, and, um, and I expected to sort of feel at home here as well, because we have so many transplants out here, so many um, people who came from New York to start the studio. I expected the dream, you know. Um, you walk in, get off the airport to the slog, you just want to, you know, make your millions and, you know, get your, your big break. Yeah. And, um, I love the fact that out here, it's sort of designed for less flow of people coming through. And it's really nice to be able to come here and and be able to work in, in a relaxed environment. Be able what I appreciate the most about Art of Acting Studio is the time that I spend with Ron and the time that I spent with Don. And I didn't expect you know, all the industry meetings that we had. I, I knew that we were going to have industry meetings, but I didn't expect that we were going to have so much one-on-one -on -one with casting directors and have so much cold reading training. And yeah, it was definitely surprising. I like everything. I like that it's a smaller studio than the New York one. Um, I like that I already knew Ron, and then I got to work with him again. So it was just Ron all the time. <laughs> the best thing about the program definitely was the opportunities that it provided me. Um, that was something that actually did surprise me. Um, the fact that the showcase went so well this year, that we had such a big response, um, I really wasn't expecting that. And, um, and the workshops, the, the people that I met through the workshops, um, and actually getting my headshots taken with my Adrapi from next door. And she came in one day, and then afterwards I actually got representation out of the showcase. Um, I got a manager and a commercial agent. Okay, so the first day, I, I get in here, you know, I, I'm just thinking, okay, I got, I got a routine, I got food, I got, you know, classes, my day's set, good to go. And uh, first day in, we have a first industry meeting, and the next day, uh, it was a manager, and, and he got me this huge audition, and you know, I was so excited. Got in there, I, I uh, worked on it a little bit with Ron, and you know, I got a call back, and then I got another call back, and then it came down between me and the other guy, and um, you know, it's you know, anything can happen, you know. 
I think it was working with Ron again. Um, in the Tisch program, we didn't have that much time with him. During our second year, it was very much basics and uh, just kind of how to work in front of the camera, but we went like totally into it when we did the AOA program. So I think for anyone that was even remotely interested in this class in New York, this was just taking a total. Um, that's the advice I would give is just, you know, if you're just going by what people are saying and you've never been out here, you have no idea what it's like, give it a try because you don't, you don't know what your impression is going to be. It's going to be completely different from anybody else's impression. I would say a potential student for art of acting should definitely consider coming out here because I didn't really know what I was expecting. I was not that strong with uh, my film work. I was mainly theater based, didn't really know what to do in front of a camera. Uh, my sizing was completely wrong. I had really no clue. And um, the time I spent with Ron definitely, definitely made a huge impact. I would say it's a great opportunity. Um, even if you're afraid to do it, to just push yourself and say, you know, you're young, probably, and you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna make a leap like that, um, it's a great time to do it, and it's a great place. You know, it, I I had to take that leap from New York. Um, I had to see, I had to see if there was anything out here for me. That's how I kept phrasing it when I left. Was like, is there anything there for me? Like, I'm always gonna be wondering. And I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it right off the bat.